Hello and welcome to another presentation of Garden State IAA Hoops. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Tonight, the Newark East Eagles are going up against the North High Dragons. Danny, your thoughts on this one? Well, the big story tonight, Junior is not in the lineup. We don't know what his status is for the entire game, but he was spotted in street clothes. Overall, a huge blow to the Eagles. There's the... Who's hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. And the Eagles look to make something happen. And that pass is airmailed and thrown out of bounds. Oh, that can't feel good. The Eagles are really sloppy here early. This could be a long night for them. And he controls it up top. Come on. A backdoor cut. Easy look. And he missed it. How'd that not go in? Devastating miss right there. The Eagles can't get anything going. And the ball's knocked loose. Here the Dragons go the other way. A two-on-one. And they'll finish with easy bucket. Newark just looks lost, Joe, without Junior in the lineup. That'll do it for the first half. The Dragons up on top, up 10. And we'll be here to bring you the third quarter right after halftime. The yearbook staff is looking for more volunteers for helping put together this year. All right, fellas, here's the deal. We're getting blown out right now. We're getting outplayed, outpustled, outworked. All right? Second half, I don't care what happens. I want you to know it's quite hard. Ball, and rebound, play D every possession. Get some stops. Alright, now we, we can work ourselves back into this. Yeah, we can play at a time, alright? Sounds good. Get yeah, better. Let's do this. That was hard to watch out there. Get the sec second half over with. It's embarrassing. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Final buzzer. We'd like to thank everyone for watching this presentation of Garden State IAA basketball. As always, we hope to see you at our next broadcast. Good night, everyone. Please contact Mr. Rocket for more Hey, you did the right thing out there. Uh, it doesn't feel like it. Like the quote in my office says, you can't win unless you learn how to lose. But hey, let's not lose two in a row, right? These invitational teams are lined up with NBA prospects. They won't know what hit them. Woo!
recruiters everywhere. Oh, my man, Jimmy, he even got big layers up there. Evan, Chuck, a couple of heavy hitters from the NBA even getting an early look. Man, this all happening, Junior. How do you feel? I'm good. Focus. You look good, too. Man, you look stressed, Arch. Well, that's okay, because I'm not playing. Now, look, a win would be ideal, but skills matter. You know, uh, positive possessions, tempo, your demeanor in the warm-ups, your focus on, you know, on in huddles. Every player is an investment. They're going to be trying to get all kinds of intel to make sure you're a good fit. <laughs> Write that down. Bigger than Broadway. The Hendricks Cobb experience is about to light this city up. Hendricks, Hendricks, have you narrowed down on any college selections? Or are you planning on jumping overseas? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I heard we was playing, but I had to come see it with my own eyes. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you back playing. Mm. This is where you belong, on the court. That's what's up, man. How's New Orleans, though? Oh, it's good. <laughs> I'm gonna hit shoot around. All right. See you on the floor? Yep. I know that's your friend and all, but you need to stay focused. You light him up and the world will open up for you. All right, all right, you need to reel it in now. I'm serious. No, nah, I'm serious too, man. It's just, vein in your neck is bulging right now, man, and I'm worried about you. Ain't no vein in my neck bulging. How, how, how big is it? <laughs> Look, man, I'm just saying, you need to worry about your salt intake. I, that's all. See, now you're pushing it. I done played basketball before. I know what this game is about. I know how to win. As soon as that tip goes up, ain't no friends no more. Don't worry, Arch. I got it. Now, this room's for players and coaches only. Out. Ah, oh, it's okay, Coach. He's with I me. I know exactly who he is. Out! Hey, come on now, don't hold back. Tell me how you really this feel. Is this funny to you? No, it's not. But it's your show, right, Henry? Yeah. What's he gonna owe you after all this? Nothing. Mm. Nothing at all, Coach. Have a great game, Junior. Thanks, Arch. It's all up to you now. Go get him. So as I was telling you, and welcome to the Barclays Center. We're here for the final game in the Battle of Brooklyn. I'm Joe Lamy. Alongside me are Greg Hugo and Danny Hogger. Great matchup in this one between Louisiana Northeast and Newark. Sure is, Joe. Both teams have looked impressive lately, but you'd have to be a fool to think this isn't Louisiana Northeast to lose. They're led by top recruit Hendricks Cobb. This team is tops in the country. The depth and talent of the Civic Cats will be hard to match, but the Newark East Eagles are no slouches, and they played with heart all season long. They also have a surprise star in junior that can provide matchup issues for the Civic Cats. Either way, we'll be in for a treat as the top talent in high school hoops hits the floor. The scouts will be tuned in for this one as the Battle of Brooklyn is on its way. We see the Eagles starting with Day and Junior, the talent in backcourt pair. On the wing, you have Lack, Zadirico and Marseda make up the post pair to round out the starting five. For the Cats, it's the star tandem in the backcourt with Cobb at the one and Davidson at the two. Splitter fills in at the small forward position with the high-flying Teddy Edwards at the power forward spot with Mushi Fresh rounding it out starting at center. And fortunately for the Eagles, they'll be at full strength for this matchup. No injuries mentioned on the game notes. And there was a worry that Junior would still have a lingering issue with his knee. The team decided to rest him with ample amount of time to recover. And by all the reports we've heard, he's 100% and ready to go. Outside call. First minute and a half of basketball play to here in this one. The layup miss. Junior outside. Pass to Mason. Good D there by Teddy Edwards. And for the Eagles, they're technically the away team in this game, even though it's being played right in their backyard. 
And you have to admire the effort the Eagles have shown all tournament long, too. They knew they'd have the crowd support most of the way, and they've earned it with their play. It's good. This is good offense. Splitter giving it up to the open man. Scouts love to see it. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Ah, oh, he got him. Gorgeous reverse. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. It's funny to think that not too long ago, Junior wasn't even thinking about basketball. He was focused on football. It's obvious now that he made a good call to switch to hoops. Here in the first, with just under two and a half minutes played so far. They get it back, and Fresh gets it to go. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. A defender cannot give up that much size inside and expect to get a hand on it. Now here's Day, covered by Splitter. That shot's good. Yeah, Junior's ability to endure on the play is impressive. Really speaks to how he's developed as a player. Outside Cobb, Edwards. He's covered by Mason. Splitter outside. Fresh. On the wing, Hendricks Cobb, covered by Junior. That one drops for him. Well, you look at the talent on this Louisiana Northeast team, easy to see why they're the top team in the nation. It goes beyond the stars on Cobb at the top. They have great depth and... Substitution on the board. And we've played just over a minute of basketball here in the second. Junior, left side. Pass to Mason. Kennedy, covered by Splitter. And he ties it to get this game back even. Even at Kennedy's smaller size, he's still effective inside. He just outwits the defense and finds a path to his shot. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Junior. Aggressive move to the rim. The foul saved the layup. Really physical defense. I like it. They're not letting anything happen easily. Shooting 100% in the quarter, they are taking full advantage at the line. A nice job making the most of all their opportunities. And it's good for two. Check out Junior getting the best of the defense on that track. He's really learning how to apply his physical gifts. So he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. How about a little bit of trivia? You talk to Hendrix Cobb, and he'll tell you a major figure in the development of his game was Duke, the father of Junior on the Eagles. Yeah, Duke coached Cobb when he was coming up and still living out in Newark. Very nice of Cobb to give credit to the late Duke for his development. You could see the precision in Cobb's game that Duke certainly played a part in. Junior outside. to Mason, Kennedy outside, Junior, and a foul called on the shot, got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two here, and that one on Timmerman, tremendous effort from Junior, clashes with some aggressive defense, but manages to release his shot and get foul, he's off on the second, Civet Cats with the lead, Splitter outside, Now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And that'll be Louisiana's ball as it goes out of bounds. Civic Cats able to keep the ball here. The Civic Cats making a switch here. Substitution on the court. Here's Porter. Pass to Cobb. Ball's knocked loose. From the right block, the shot is good. Watching the way Cobb gets things done on the floor is exemplary. It's easy to see why he's such a highly regarded recruit. 
everything comes so easy for him. Just raw, natural ability combined with a great sense of the moment. There's a sense that he'll be an impact player beyond the college level someday already. Rejected by Mushi Fresh. Quarter guarded by Day. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing a whistle with a lot of contact there. The first free throw is good. Both shots are good from the stripe. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Junior outside. Jonathan Lack on the wing. Back to Junior. And a great shot there by Junior, who looks to have no lingering impact from his leg injury. They're getting torn apart inside. And to show some toughness. Yeah, defend with an edge and some attitude. Let him know there will be no more easy buckets inside. Yep, that one goes. It seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in the opening quarter. But things are finally starting to look up. They are looking up. They're making amends for that slow start of theirs. And the Eagles will call time here. They've already picked up a number of fouls here. And now they're in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to... The Eagles trailing. For the Cats, this is more than just a road game for them. These young men are dealing with the first taste of play after traveling across the country. Yeah, that should be a big advantage for the Eagles, Joe. They'll want to do whatever they can, keep their foot on the gas pedal, keep the tempo of this game up. Hopefully, that should even out the talent advantage that the Civic Cats have on paper. Here's Junior. Back to Mason. Teddy Edwards with the rejection. Authoritative block by Edwards using all of his six foot seven reach to just suffocate the shot. He is running the floor so well. And he's finishing with style. Way to complete the break. On the wing, Junior, guarded by Cobb. Down low. And he finishes nicely on the layup. James Let the big man eat down there. Once again, Marseda has the positioning he likes, and the rest is history. Outside Cobb. Let's the three fly. Connects it from downtown. His skills, they're matched by his relentlessness. He's in the middle of everything offensively. Junior with it. Cobb on him. Back to Junior. And with the way he's scoring so far, we can say Junior is at full strength. And we wondered before the game if that knee would limit him or be an issue. But right now, he looks like he is a full go at 100%. Mm -hmm. And without a doubt, Hendricks Cobb, the number one recruit in the nation, we're seeing him tonight. A lot of eyes will be on him during this contest. Cobb with it. Marseda covering. To the middle. Deflected. Check out Mason's awareness on defense. He tracks the ball as it's going up, is ready, and waiting with an authoritative block. And with Cobb, the number one prospect from this class, without a doubt. He's still undecided on where he's going to school, guys. Yeah, and it's not from a lack of offers. Many major schools have reached out to him already. Cobb knows, though, he has all the power and will make his decision when he's good and ready. Pass to Cobb. To the right side. Inside. Banked in off the glass. Oh, and they've come out hot. The offense is clicking. They've hit three of four since the break. The drive by Junior. Great D that time from Mushi Fresh. To the paint. Here's Splitter. And here's Cobb. And a missed layup. Mason, left side. That's good from 17 feet away. Yeah, Junior is quickly developing strong court awareness. Doesn't miss the easy assist off the wide open man. Junior showing no ill effects of his knee injury on that dunk. You can't teach this. Sometimes Junior is capable of surprising even himself. What a ferocious jam. 
Guys, here's a look at Teddy Edwards, another fantastic player who is highly recruited on this Civic Cats team. Edwards has the raw power and strength to finish inside against just about anyone. He moves very well for his size and is a natural finisher at the rim. He's definitely going to make some college people extremely happy in short time. Outside Cobb. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. The layup off target. Now Junior, right side. Pass to Marceda. Back to Junior. Mason with it. Junior, guarded by Cobb. And here is Junior. He's got 13 on the night. Five to shoot. Back to Mason. That ties the game. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially on the inside. Well, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range, so I'd have to agree. Here's Fresh. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots coming. A guy of mushy size. <laughs> At the line from Louisiana Northeast, number three. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And one of the most gifted athletes on this team is Benny Davidson. He's a tremendous leader on the floor who just moves so well with the ball in his hands. And just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Doesn't go that time. Jonathan Lack with some nice D. And with Davidson, another highly ranked recruit. He just makes everyone better out there. Yeah, and I don't know if it's just because I'm a fan, but he reminds me a lot of De'Aaron Fox with the ball in his hand, doesn't he? I mean, he's got that explosiveness to go right at players twice as high and finish with that exclamation point. The drive by Junior. It's deflection. Davidson from beyond the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Taking over in a big moment. Love when Davidson puts it upon himself to hit these important shots. Junior outside. Count it, and he'll have a chance at the line for the three-point play. It goes on Wayne. And the Cats making a change here. Just what the doctor ordered. The hoop and the harm, and he makes good on the free throw. Cobb with it. Junior's there. A nice shot there by Cobb. This is the assertive shooting we expect from Cobb. A player who looks more than ready to take his game to the next level. And for Junior, the interest in him from colleges has been growing all season long. There's a good chance he'll get some offers from great schools to play at the next level. Mason embraces these possessions. He wants the ball in his hands, not shying away from these important shots. And that's out of bounds. Louisiana will retain possession. Good on the first, and that'll put him up by two. The Civic Cats had no idea of their good luck when Cobb moved to Louisiana a few years ago. What a windfall that was. He's got ice water in his veins, guys. No way he's going to miss from the line. The game's still hanging in the balance. Pass to Fresh from outside the arc. Newark East grabs the miss. Now nine seconds separate the shot and game clock. Now Junior, right side. Now Mason. Sinks it! And that shot brings him within one! Incredible heart from Mason on this play. He really wants to show the Eagles that he's ready for anything. And now we've got an intentional foul. Good work controlling the clock. Now they hope for the misses. Yeah, they'll use every trick they can to keep this game going. And no good as the first free throw misses for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. A drive now by Junior. Foul called that time on the way up. 
That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. That one on Cobb. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he can't connect on the second free throw either. Missing them both. And it's Marcedo with the foul. And so he's picked up the final foul and will have to sit out the rest of this one. And so he goes two of two at the line. And it's a three-point game. That last free throw was so critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Timeout called by the Eagles. What's your take here, guys? There's still time left, so they don't necessarily need to go for the three if they can get an easy bucket down low. I'm not so sure. There's not a lot of time to play around here. I think they look for the three and then try to tie this thing up. And that'll do it. The Louisiana and Northeast Pacific Cats have won the Battle of Wilson. The top team in the nation looked the part as they took down several teams to come away with the Invitational title. Just exceptional. When you look at the talent that the Pacific Cats have on their roster, it seems overwhelming this was going to be the case. The Eagles put up a fight, but Cobb and the rest of the Civic Cats were just too much for them. And when it comes down to it, the Civic Cats were supposed to win this. That's the level of success they expect. The talent they have makes anything short of winning every game a failure. Great set of games capped off by a fantastic win by the Cats. That'll conclude our broadcast of the Battle of Brooklyn. For Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger, I'm Joe Lamy. Thanks for watching. Man. What can I say? <laughs> How about admitting that I'm better than you? Now, that would be a good start. <laughs> I'm not going that far. <laughs> hey, you got me this time. Hey, listen, man. You showed some to these scouts tonight. I know it. There will be others. Well, celebrate with your teammates, man. You deserve it. Whoa, whoa. Celebrate? We a travel team, baby. We don't celebrate. It's just on to Cleveland. <laughs> Man, this is it. College. <laughs> the atmosphere, the tradition, the coaching. It's nothing like it, Junior. It's a good time to get to know who you are, too. Get an education, you know? I mean, there's no money right now, but the path gets easier for you to get a bigger brand once you get into the league because of all the TV exposure. Yeah, like Zion. Exactly, like Zion. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy. A few bad games gets magnified. Bad press snowballs fast in college. Yeah, but positive press snowballs too. Exactly. So we want to keep it positive. I know you made a few visits, talked to a few coaches, but the decision is yours. Where do you see yourself next year, Jim? <laughs> you made the right choice, Junior. Let's get you on a call with Coach. I know he's going to be thrilled. Cool. I'm going to be keeping an eye on you. You hear me? So you think you're ready to declare for the draft? Just hit me up. Uh, thanks, Archie. Moving into a bigger world now, Junior. You think you're ready? Oh, no doubt, man. Let's go get it.